Okay, so I finally found out why only 5-10% to 10 of my subscribers are actually seeing my videos. And the answer is pretty easy, so a lot of you guys are active or ex-military. And because of that you fear to ring the bell, am I right? But let me tell you just a little secret. You're on YouTube here and ringing the bell is absolutely no bad thing to do. Because this one is a good bell and it will help you to never miss a video again so so go down under this video now and ring that goddamn bell, sucker! So I hope that everybody got the message and now let us continue with today's video. Hey and welcome to the post apocalyptic garage. Today I was cutting a thread in a hole using a good old hand tapping tool like this one here. And even knowing that a tool like this is around for probably over 100 years, I started thinking. Why don't you use this little device as kind of a multi-tool where you can attach different kind of bits or nuts? So I've tried it and the problem I immediately ran into is that most of the regular bits you find have a six-sided attachment part so most of your regular tapping tools are four-sided and the six-sided tool will not really fit into this kind of devices. Just as I figured out to get around this problem I ran into the next one and that is that there is no kind of support in the back area here. So when you put some downward pressure on the bit itself it will just press through like this. And this fact is not only annoying but it can also hurt you. Just imagine you get your hand on like this, like you take it in a real life work scenario and it pushes through and it will come out the backside. Not really the most pleasant feeling I can imagine. So in the beginning I started thinking that my idea was probably not the best one I've ever had. But spending half an hour to fine tune the concept and having one or two drinks in the meantime, I came up with what I think is a pretty good solution. So let me show you probably the easiest build I've ever done and build yourself the perfect addition to your toolkit. And it's probably not only the easiest build video I've ever shared, but also the one with probably the smallest parts list.
Okay, so even when you use two much more complicated projects here in the garage, sometimes the easiest solution can be the best one. And now, let's see if it works. Okay, I get your point. There are many more really dedicated tools who will do the job much better. But the point is that this little contraption here will also get the job done. Everyone can build it with the least effort and the least amount of materials. So I think even when this little thing here is not the greatest invention I've ever done, it will surely get its job done and basically that's what it's designed for. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Surely it's a pretty short one, but there is a reason for all of that. Actually today it was pretty hard to get to the garage. And if you want to know why, just check out my Facebook account. Not only because I post things of my day-to-day -day life, but also because I show some sneak peeks and behind the scenes material over there. Also, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, please be sure to go down there and hit the bell. Because as always, it don't hurt you and it helps me a lot. Also give this video a like, please share it with your friends and also leave me a comment in the comment section below because I read every one of them every time and even when I don't have the time to answer all of them you guys give me great ideas and help me with every comment to get my videos just a little bit better and now there's pretty much nothing left to say for me except have a good evening guys and goodbye. Do you still have not clicked on the bell? Click it now, you son of a-